Okay, hold on. Can we do one more video? Can we just do one more short video? It's very, very good. Can I show you my favorite, my favorite internet tech video of all time? Dude, where's Randy? Where the hell's Randy? Randy Web Dev. It is like literally the best. It is the best video of all time. Did Wendy get rid of it? Randy. It's been oh, you're right. All right, let's catch you up to speed. I was sent in a bold quest to learn how to create a website in exchange for some kind of... Okay, hold on. If you've never seen Randy. All right, let's catch you up to speed. I was sent on a bold quest to learn how to create a website in exchange for some kind of book or something. I don't know. This little bitch gave me 14 days to do it. And in the first seven, I managed to scrape together a proof of concept with the help of Sensei Rafu. It's not cultural appropriation, is it? Now I have a very basic understanding of web development, a barely functioning website, and seven more days to deliver a final product. If I don't deliver on time, <laughs> well, it's time. But have no fear, we've got a whole seven days to kill. <laughs> Five days to kill. By the end of the timeline, here's what I want finished. An extremely clean funding flow from hitting the landing page to the final thank you message. Very clear vision for what this website is about and what my goals are beyond my being dedicated. To Dude, this, this is literally me every single time I think I have a project. It's like awesome, music is playing, things are fantastic. It never ends that way things mm, yes as well as do a bunch of sign optimizations to make everything load quicker and uh, all around just be nicer to use so let's go first off funding flow believe it or not the site actually works at the moment but the live version of the website isn't using the live key for stripe so i can't actually collect payments it's all just test data at the moment but to change that all i've got to do is yoink the live keys plug those bad boys in and uh oh what are we going to use to test now vessel to the rescue Doo -doo 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 -doo. You can literally pop open a new branch, use that as a preview site, put the test keys in the preview, the live in the production, and we're ready to rumble, ladies and gents. Nice. nice. To make sure the flow for that was working, I put my own card details to the live site, and just like that, I sacrificed one dollar from my own card. I mean, it's just gonna come back to me anyway, boy. Now I've just noticed a little buggy. Oh, disgusting. One dollar, even though it's a recurring subscription, doesn't qualify for the membership page. For a membership, <laughs> it's five AUD and above, right? But then why am I still getting the membership page? Hmm. Let's look into it. Ah, also, since there's other currencies, how do I go about setting limits in the other currencies as well? <laughs> it seems like a little bit of a rabbit hole that I'm gonna go down. <laughs> eh? Whee! I began by literally just hard coding the uh, five Aussie dollar equivalent in all the currencies that I support on the page at the moment. Oh. That way, it's actually a consistent amount. You're not doing any like conversion for every single recurring thing, so it's not gonna be inconsistent like that. Next up was deciding a minimum transaction. Again, I literally just took the one as a dollar equivalent, <laughs> put it into the other currencies, what a day. This and there we so have it, awful. these values are now currency dependent, just like that. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? But while doing that, I also noticed that there's no way of putting in decimals at the moment. And obviously, that's a bit of a no no. Decimals are cool. <sighs> Why in the f can I not get this text input? Order size correctly, <laughs> making me angry. <laughs> Let's put that on hold for the time being, shall we? <laughs> there are bigger fishies to fry, like member benefits. One benefit of being a member is that you get this Discord role, which gives you access to the sub cave. Booga booga, boo boo, be like cave. But I have absolutely zero clue on how to hook that shit up. And after three hours of reading the Discord API docs and uh, hanging around with some code, I've come to the conclusion that this is indeed a problem for future Randall. The man, <laughs> the myth, the well slept. Legend. Wow, this guy looks like he knows what he's doing. Maybe he'll have better luck making some progress. I bet he's had a good night's sleep. Oh, Future Randy. Um, no, not at all. <laughs> Discord can suck my pee pee. But I tell you what, let's continue on with that funding flow, eh? For starters, I'd really like to get the total amount displaying on the landing page, so I uh, went ahead and did that. Yeah, we'll style it properly later, but for now, it's allowed to look like shit. Now, I just remembered yesterday I was working on that whole sense business. So after polishing up some code, I got that bad boy working. Now you can plop that cent amount in. And there we have it, a recurring amount of $7.24.
<laughs> Turns out Stripe sets up a recurring payment via these things called products. The way we actually alter the amount of the subscription in the end is just by having a base one dollar amount and changing that quantity. So the recurring payments can only be multipliers of that dollar amount. In other words, cents are goddamn useless. <laughs> oh well, I never really like cents anyway. <laughs> we can still use them for the one-time donos, but uh, for the recurring amounts... <laughs> Oh All that well, that's work? another day down the drain, and I uh, still haven't tackled this funding flow yet. I swear to God, I'm gonna finish this by the end of the day. If it's if it's the death of me, I styled up the fun preview on the landing page and added this little call to action here. So that way, when people first come to the site, they can be like, "Ooh, what's this then? Clickety clackety." They call me Mr. Market Man. Whether or not that actually happens is a completely different story. All a man can really do is speculate. After that was done, I got sick and tired of looking at this really disgusting article. So I decided to give it a revamp, and uh, this this literally took me five goddamn hours. There were just so many little issues, like getting this preview text to start in the right place and the articles weren't updating properly then to top it all off trying to get this bitch into css was just a goddamn nightmare because well between you and me i uh no idea what the f i'm doing but i'm glad i did it because i learned a lot of new things and i reckon i'll finally be able to tackle that discord integration i was talking about earlier tomorrow <laughs> i'm going to bed good night <laughs> ah i feel refreshed i just the wore the though. same pants three days thank you in a row. To that I say, the only reason I'm actually wearing pants to begin with is because I'm recording a video. But holy <laughs> moly guacamole, do I finally understand this now? Now I've gone and set up a Discord bot. With that, I can use the library discord.js to make it go beep boop hmm? and give a roll to a user automatically. But riddle me this, how in the frickin' heck and flip am I supposed to get a user's ID? Now I could just get them to copy and paste it over by going into settings, turning on developer mode, clicking on their person, copy, paste. But you know, that's not exactly the most straightforward thing for little Timmy over here. <laughs> So it's time for a little bit of cheeky OAuth 2, baby. Do I actually know how to use OAuth 2? No. Randy, what's OAuth 2, you ask? Good question. We're just going to use a library so we don't actually have to learn about it. <laughs> Introducing next yes. Auth JS, a library for lazy people who don't know how to implement authentication properly. Like me. Except it's not simple. Maybe it is simple. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm the simple one. So after spending an entire day uh, trying to mess around with that, scouring the docs for any semblance of what I'm after, and finally, <laughs> there it is. There it is, boys. That right there the cost, is bro. my Discord you. ID, baby. Yeah. Now, that's an excellent accomplishment. Pat on the backs all round. But I've still got to get the GitLab ID somehow. And uh, this library is a bit wacky when it comes to authenticating multiple accounts. So eventually after sleeping on it, I've managed to figure out a really scuffed way of determining whether it's Discord or GitLab with this sign in. Now, you've been warned, okay? This implementation is not for the faint of heart. Um, if it starts with the discord.com, <laughs> then it's discord. <laughs> Else if? <laughs> oh, this is genius. Why didn't I think of this before? I was blinded by my ego. Next up, what is going to be the best way of, I mean, I know a way. We can do index of. We can really do that. Uh, dot index of. I don't know how fucking JavaScript works. Discord. GitLab. So scuff, but it works. Surely. Surely this works. We're compiling. We've compiled. <sighs> Everyone prepare your anus. Discord login. GitLab login. Yes! We've done it! Holy shit, it works! Yes! I'm a genius. It Dude, works. That's does he not does this not feel like every one of your projects you have ever done in your entire lifetime? Like d d this man is the greatest YouTube video smith of all time. This is how I feel every time I do it. It's like, oh, Discord's not going to be that hard. Two days later. You're like, I don't even get it. Why am I still wearing the same pants for three days straight? Matters. Now we just literally tell the Discord bot to assign the randy.gg role to the user ID. Tell GitLab to add this bitch to each repository. And bada bing bada boom. Completely automated perks, baby. 
Whee! You have no idea how proud I am of myself for actually figuring that out on my own. Um, but that's been plaguing me for this entire week. As the funding flow is fully implemented, it's time to make things look pretty. Made the membership sexy as hell and optimized it for mobile. Flex boxes are so goddamn useful. Holy shit. Talking mushrooms. With that, I've officially evolved into a CSS mega chat. If only my <laughs> high school IT teacher, Big Jen, could see me now. I then did the same thing for the landing page, except I'm really just gonna need to do something about this background. It doesn't work in this aspect ratio. Then of course the fun page got the same treatment, and then I went about, ah. Uh, well, that's why I don't set deadlines. Well, future Randy will take care of that one. What a lovely little website you've created here, hey? I tell you what, you get a gold sticker. And have a look at what came in the map. I mean, have, here you go. You've earned it. Greetings for fucking nerds. Yoink. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Okay, that was really that was it's just it's just so funny. Oh, that was just so funny. If you don't know Randy, you gotta go subscribe. I don't, I, I didn't even have anything to say other than this just felt, this just feels, this feels like every project ever created of all time. All right, let's get back. Let's actually do a little bit of project ourselves. We've spent entirely too much time. Let's do Rust, serverless. Uh, you know, we're gonna do an MPA, okay? Multi-page application, purely server-side rendered, no client-side, let's go, okay? Why is he inactive? He's actually just starting to get active again. I've reached out to old Randall. I've, this is my side account, okay? This is my side account. I'm subscribed to him. I swear I'm subscribed to him, okay? This is not what this looks like, okay? This is not what this looks like. This is not... I'm just saying this is totally, like, watch this. When I switch accounts, you're going to immediately see that I am indeed subscribed. Okay? Subscribed. Yeah. See? Even like the video. All right, that's enough of this. Hey, this has been Randall's Good Stuff.